Good morning, friends. Today is Monday, July 27th. It is about 10.30 a.m. right now. I woke up a little while ago and I've just been hanging out in my bed. It's the first time that I've vlogged in ages. Sorry I was gone. I, wow, this feels weird. I haven't vlogged in so long. Um, but there's a lot I gotta do today. We got some cool packages coming. Uh, we got, oh, it was my birthday. Since the last time I talked to you guys, it was my birthday. I am uh, legally an adult now. There's not much that you can do. I can get a credit card, go into debt. I can uh, buy a lottery ticket. So, there are some of the cool things that you can do as a legal adult. Vote! Oh my gosh, if you are an American and you are not registered to vote, please vote. If you are 18, <laughs> vote. It's very important. I'm not going to ramble too terribly much. We got a lot to do. Uh, there's loud cars outside. I think there's packages outside, but first and foremost, I am I need to write something for school. They're, that's so loud. Can I help you? I think they're being quiet. So the first thing that I need to do today is turn something in. It's going to take me like three or four minutes to turn in. So that is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to get ready, and we've got a couple other things that I need to do today. So I went ahead and I got dressed. I got this new shirt, which I think is so cute. But um, I was planning on that montage going a little bit longer, but my new watch for my birthday came in. My mom got this for me for my birthday. And I figured I would open it on camera. I'm really excited. I wasn't expecting it to come in right now. I thought it was gonna come in like at um, like 3 or 4 p.m., like when our mail comes. But it's kinda cool, it came in early. It's the Fitbit Versa, Fitbit Versa Light Edition. Um, they only had this very purple color, which is really intense for me. I don't typically wear colors like this, but it looks really cool. That's this is what the packaging comes like. I also got a gray band to go with it. So it comes with two bands. I think. They're different sizes. I think this is the charger. The charger looked crazy online. Yeah, this thing looks crazy. So it's like a cradle and you're supposed to clamp it in there. So the actual wash body sits in there. It's just, as soon as I pulled the tab, it like started doing something on the screen, started telling me what to do. And it runs through different languages. So if you don't speak English, they, it looks like they've done four or five languages so far. So it asks you to let it charge through the setup process. So I'm gonna do that, plug it in really quick. I've got a block. It doesn't come with a like a block to plug in, but it does come with like a, just a USB uh, input. All right, it's charging. Oh my gosh, it's still doing different languages. So whatever language you speak, whatever is your main language, I think you'd be set up. I just saw German, I recognize German. I know like an absolute minuscule amount of German. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to figure this out off camera because I'm a little confused. <laughs> so I did set up the watch. Um, I it's right now it's upstairs charging. Uh, I don't have much to say. I haven't been able to really use it yet, but so far I think it's pretty cool. But for my birthday, my little sister made me breakfast, and she made me like French toast and this just egg stuff. So for those of you who don't know, I do eat a plant-based diet. I'm vegan. Um, and I haven't had scrambled eggs and toast for a really long time. Um, the syrup from my French toast got into my eggs, so they were really sweet. So I'm going to today make scrambled eggs and toast because it's something that I haven't had in ages. <laughs> but I'm really curious. I haven't had this like by itself yet. I'll let you know what it tastes like. I've seen so many things. Um, I've seen so many vegans like use that. Like Julian Solomita uses it all the time in his videos. From what I could tell, it tasted pretty good. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll show you my eggs and toast afterwards. It's so basic and normal, but I just haven't had it in probably five years. That's crazy. Okay, so here's what the just egg and toast look like. So. This is not a good representation of how much is in the bottle because there was like maybe a third left, not much at all. However, that totally looks like scrambled eggs. That's wild. Um, Violet had used some for my French toast and then um, I used some for fried rice. Uh, so I'm gonna taste it. 
that's wild that tastes like what I remember scrambled eggs tasting like okay so if you, I get there's Quincy hi kitty kitty so I guess if you are trying to like cut back on eggs or something this might be like a really good option I'm curious to see what people who have eaten eggs more recently than I have think so if you've tried this let me know what you think it's really interesting but typically I assume there would be significantly more so for Quincy's birthday which is in August we got her this window hammock thing that I'm gonna put on this window here you can't see it very much this window here because she loves to sit in sunbathe there but I have a whole bunch of plants on the windowsill and so the more plants I add the less room she has to lay and so we got this window hammock um, if she really likes it we're gonna get another one for the office I haven't shown you guys the office yet we might do that today or wait until it's completely finished but it looks really good it used to be Violet's old room but she moved downstairs if you haven't been keeping up with that what I'm gonna do now first I'm gonna put my hair up but while I do that let's chat it's held up by suction cups uh, first I'm gonna make sure my windows really really clean and then I'm going to mount it but I want to take you along for that I'm hoping she really likes it and also someone's doing yard work outside so if you can hear that I'm very sorry it's like this horrible high-pitched squeaking noise so if that is bothering you I apologize it's annoying to me too okay Let's do it. So you're not gonna be able to see super well because of the window and the, how the lighting works, but I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing. So I have some Windex and paper towels. I'm gonna clean this off really, really well because I don't want it to be nasty. I don't know how easy it's gonna be able to take on and off. So I'm gonna clean this really, really well um, and then we'll work on putting it up. I'm gonna do this window here so that I can still open the window. The trick is when cleaning windows to make sure that they're actually not streaky and like very very clear is that once you think it's clear like once you think you're done you continue to wipe it down because that way you get all the streaks off I think most people have a hard time not getting streaky windows and mirrors because it feels done right now um, but you got to keep going and then your windows extra clear this little hack for those of you who don't know <laughs> you go for way longer than you think you need to you can like after a while start feeling the tackiness leave or the resistance leave and that's about when you're done that's pretty clean so really wasn't that bad can't see that really wasn't that bad it was kind of gross it's not horrible so I moved you on the ground here are the ports it doesn't tell me which way is up and down this is what the instructions look like so I'm going to just assume that it doesn't matter that much the pipes are two different colors which isn't a huge deal all right took about 30 seconds there we go step three is to slide this cover onto the round tubes I'm seeing that these here have slits on the corner here, so I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna go like this, stick the end of the wire through the hole. There we go. And then I will slide it over. And do the same thing on the other side. The hammock itself doesn't smell great. It smells really strongly as like I don't know what that is like chemicals so that was probably the toughest part so far and it really wasn't that bad all right here's the hammock it's got these little guys sticking out here uh, and then this side is open with an extra flap step four attach four suction cups to the base and ends so they're all the same thing these are the suction cups compared to my hand here is the suction cup compared to an Arizona iced tea. As you can see, they're really big. Um, I don't know if they have Arizona iced tea everywhere, but I don't know. I feel like my hand is not a great representation of how big it is because I have pretty big hands. The ones on the end were super easy to put on. These ones here on the wire 
it has this like T so I'm thinking you just stick that through there uh, or like this okay yeah so what I did was stuck this end into the hole here and then shoved it through like this and then it popped through and out sits like that. We are back to the bad lighting. The next step is to select a suitable height for the bed. So I'm gonna say here is good. Yeah, that looks good. Can fit some plants underneath there still. Okay, next. So in the instructions they say the sticky pads are not necessary unless you're putting it on like a rough surface like the wall. And so I'm just gonna stick them straight onto the window and hope it goes well. So I guess this is it. Try and make it even. Make sure it's really sealed on there. And then take these guys, and I suppose just pull it up. Oh goodness, oh goodness. All right, that feels pretty stable. Okay, I'm gonna go get Quincy and see if she likes it. I put adhesive on there. I didn't. It's only for like. I mean, how's she supposed to get up there? I don't know. Jump from there. Do you I like? I didn't it? imagine it so high. Where would you recommend? Would you recommend me to put it lower? Well, I guess like. <laughs> how that would work either. Do you like it? Is that a yes? It sounds kind of like a no, but she's laying down, so I don't know. It smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe spray some catnip on it. Do you want to smell it, Mom? Uh-uh. She's like, it smells really bad. Do you like it or hate it? Do you want it lower? You're hard to read. I think if you see that she's having a hard time getting on there or off of there, then lower it. She's very cute. Oh yeah, now I can't put my blinds down past that. You got a lot of words about it. What do you think? Yeah? I think she likes it. We might have to lower it. I was thinking that she would, you can't see that at all. There's a, like a, this is where she eats her food, so I was thinking she would just jump from here to here, but she's also not a huge jumper, so we might have to low, we might have to lower it to like about there, but I think she likes it. This might have been a success. I guess I'll have to update you guys later. Stay tuned. She's exploring it right now, and she's been chewing on this wire, um, but I think she likes it because she was purring earlier, and she was kissing me, and she doesn't do either of those very often. She's not a huge... Uh, purring cat or kissing cat she mostly just like rubs on things but she seems to really be enjoying it and I think she looks so cute oh I wish you could see it clearly clearly maybe I'll do a shot at night so you can actually see her here's a little update Quincy has now fallen asleep in her little hammock she's so cute look at it from like this angle oh, she woke up Oh my gosh, she's just so cute. I've been taking pictures of her because I can't get enough of it. Oh, my little angel. I'm really glad she likes it. Also, here is the, I have this hot orthia here. It's like a hot orthia zebra plant. And look at this flower it sprouted. Here it is compared to my hand. I'm having a hard time getting it all in the shot. I will try to put a picture and I took just about a week ago now it was over half the size so uh it's grown a lot it's really funny i love this little flower because it's so long and skinny i forgot to mention this earlier but i was making vegan uh pot pie and for the start i was using i was making vegan biscuits which i'll leave the recipe link down below the rest of it i didn't follow recipe but this is flour baking soda baking powder and salt for dry ingredients i took a vegan butter that was cold make sure it's cold 
and mill them together with my fingers to create this kind of powdery texture that molds together but falls apart when you move it. And then uh, use roughly a cup of almond milk and I move that together. You want to use, you want to slowly incorporate that in if you want it to be sticky. You probably are not going to use all of the almond milk. And then I just used half that dough and put that in the bottom and cooked that while I was preparing the rest of the inside which was mushrooms. I used this to make like a bit of a soup for the inside. With, with that I did some vegan butter, sauteed that with garlic for a while and then when those were crispy I put in some vegetable broth and almond milk. Uh, seasoning, seasoning to taste, I don't remember what I put in, and then added flour until it was thick. If you are not used to doing that, I recommend that you do that really slowly because it can get gloopy really quickly. I then added in some mixed vegetables, which were uh, carrots, peas, green beans, and corn, and it created that filling that you see, which was very tasty. Fill that in, and then, we'll wait here for a second. And then I took the rest of that biscuit dough, flattened that out, and then I didn't have quite enough, so I just broke it off into pieces, and that's it. Put that all in there, and we go. This is a weird angle and really weird lighting, but oh well. Um, little review on the, uh, what was that, pot pie. It's pretty good. I think the biscuits could use a little bit less baking soda, is what my mom said. And, um... I didn't use a recipe for like the, oh my dog's scratching at the door, I didn't use a recipe for the cream of mushroom soup or the filling or anything like that, but I did use a recipe for the biscuits, so I leave that linked down below. I use that for biscuits and gravy as well, it's a pretty good recipe. So right now, it is almost 10 o'clock at night, so I am going to get ready for bed which means that this vlog is over. And with that, you have reached the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, feel free to like and subscribe so that you can stick around and see more content like this and the other content that I post. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.